Hi, I'm Marissa and welcome back to Chew in the Kitchen. Today we're going to be making something to keep me cool in the summertime. That's Caribbean Mojito Popsicles. Let's get started. Okay, the first step on making these popsicles is to use freshly squeezed orange juice. There's a few ways to do that. Uh, one is to buy orange juice. Two is to use a hand squeezer, which I used. And the third is to use a juicer. I'm using the Huron juicer. I really like this juicer because it's very easy to use and it's self-cleaning, which is a big benefit because juicers are really hard to clean sometimes. I'm gonna get juicing. I just finished juicing two cups of orange juice and now I'm gonna move over to my Vitamix. I also love the Vitamix because it's amazing. It can do so many wonderful things, but you can use any type of blender. I'm gonna use um, one cup of strawberries, two tablespoons of honey, a handful of mint, and three fourths of water, and I'm gonna go ahead and puree that. So today we were out shopping at Bed Bath & Beyond. A shout out to Mario for helping me find these popsicle makers. So what I'm gonna do with the orange juice is I'm gonna put it at the bottom, a little bit at a time. As you can see, it's a little messy over here, but it's not gonna be good if it's not a little messy. And then I'm gonna add my strawberry over top of it so it gives it a bit of an ombre look. I'm gonna stick these in the freezer for 12 hours. But an hour into the freeze, I'm gonna go ahead and put this popsicle stick right in there so it's easier to get out. Just trying to earn that dessert. It's been 12 hours and I just got the popsicles out of the freezer. You may wanna let them sit for maybe two minutes or so because to try to pull them up, it's really difficult. There you go. Thanks. Tell me what you think. Mm, yum. Mm. This week was a very exciting week for us. We had gotten our first subscriber all the way from Hawaii. Thank you, Jennifer, for subscribing. Hawaii is a really special place for us. That's where Carl and I got married. We're going to be celebrating our sixth anniversary this month. You can show your support for my channel by clicking the subscribe button below and you can log in using any Gmail account. Please follow me on Instagram at Chew in the Kitchen. See you next week.